and we're going to stop. We're going to stop with that. We blurt it out. Okay. Now we're going to go on the other hand, and we're going to do the um, the knuckles. So with knuckles, did you go live with that? I did. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about it. That's, that's the best part about it. Oh no! Why don't you say something, Lauren? You got a big following. Oh, I have no idea what to say. But hello, <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Elise. <laughs> Pale at night. Lauren Lena. <laughs> it's okay. I found a giant beetle on my um, TV when I was on live. Oh wow! <laughs> and I freaked out. Mayday. Mayday. Man down. I've got. I've got one. I'm gonna. No. Just, Oh man, I love being live. How does Saturday Night Live do this? While Lauren's here, we have Lauren coming in. Um, She's at Laura underscore Elise on Instagram to do some of her looks on April 2nd. (laughs) Yes. And today we're doing camouflage makeup. Mm -hmm. So today's a little different. Today is our clinical makeup course. So we're going to go and look at the colors that we selected before. Now this turned out being kind of dark, didn't it? And this was this color. That Lauren and I both agreed on. We did. Yes. Mm-hmm. So um, we should go a little bit lighter. Let's go a little lighter this time. Okay. With 30577. It might be too light. I don't know. But I'm going to use it primarily to show you the technique with the um, the knuckles. Again, we need to get an alcohol wipe. Make sure the area is free of any kind of oils. So the product is going to work better. If there's any transplant, I can't stress strongly enough to you, you are not going to dry it out with any kind of alcohol product. Okay. Okay, now we're back in action. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I keep veering toward that. This is what we used, and it was too dark. Let's, okay, we're going to go in this. We're using palette number eight, which means nothing. It means that um, it's, this is a 300 number. So this is now in palette number three in their newer packaging. Okay, again, you want to use a brush that is synthetic. Just take a small amount. And with the knuckle, you're going to have the client open their finger and bend their finger. And this knuckle but you don't want to get it too close to the um, cuticle because then it's going to make the finger look dirty. And we don't want that. Right, Lauren? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the hand is open. So we're putting the, the product with the hand open. We're taking Lauren's powder puff, which is here. We're using Cinema Secrets powder, which is not an aluminizing powder. <laughs> I made that mistake earlier today by mistake. Very embarrassing. It's okay. Well, that wasn't mine, but now you just told oh, everyone. Oh, that was mine, but that was mine. <laughs> now everybody knows. And then you brush the excess away. And you can see by doing that, you're losing some of the pigmentation of your product. Mm-hmm. So it's time for another round. Take your, pro- your, your um, what is it called? Foundation. Place it in the middle of the area that you're going to be covering, and then shear it out in the edges. Okay. I'm leaving that tattoo alone. This looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. No one to stop. I'm not going to do that again. Only one layer for that. Only one layer for you. <laughs> okay, so did we do you open and closed here? Okay. So, hold your finger up. There you go. All right. Notice. So with Lauren, because she is a girl, it's much easier to um, work on the eyes because you're going to use camouflage makeup underneath the eyes. You're going to use camouflage techniques under the nose. Um, here, there's something here I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but here, you can just use eye makeup. So if you use Cinema Secrets as a base or any other base and then powder it, you know, it's great. For men who have this, it's, they're a little bit more self-conscious because they don't wear makeup usually, typically. So any questions about the hands? I made it look very easy, didn't I? Yeah. It's not easy. I'm, I'm warning you, it's not easy. Camouflage makeup is very mm-hmm. hard to teach, and it's very um, hard to do. So if you get frustrated, there is no crying in makeup school. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> 
so we're going to have you go into the hands-on room now, and um, we'll put our models there. They can walk themselves. Our models will walk <laughs> to the hands-on room, and you guys can start practicing. There are one, two, four people can work on Lauren at a time. You have Lauren's face. You have her hands. Oh. Mm -hmm. She's lovely. I try. And Lauren is going to come go to her Instagram uh, channel and see what she does with makeup. And she's going to be doing, like, an event with us. For fun. Lauren, powder, or puff. Where's your name? How can I forget that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> Finish your application by giving your client their own personalized powder puff with their name written on it. This line under the on the bag is not there for nothing. <laughs> it's there for somebody's name. Okay? Yay! Thank you, ma'am. So if you didn't learn anything else today, you learned not to use an aluminizing powder to set them. Okay? <laughs> We learned that Jill is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. We learned that what? Jill is hilarious. Oh, Very amusing. Well, and I'm... educational at the same time. You get a pizza. Yay! <laughs> pizza pizzazz. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Now, does anybody have tattoos that are visible? Not yet. Oh, it's on the back.